Hello, I'm Srikant Pregna, founder and trainer of Srikant Technologies. In this video, I explain how to download, install, and get started with Eclipse. And we are dealing with the latest version of Eclipse, which was released very recently. So let's get started with the first step that is searching for Eclipse. Of course, you can go to eclipse.org and downloads or you can just directly go to Google and search for Eclipse download and click on this. It's taking you to the download page where you have the latest version 2020-09 indicates it was released in September 2020. Now all that you need to do is click on download 64-bit version. Alternatively, you can also download packages. You can download Eclipse package. The whole software is downloaded in one stroke. But when you go with this, it is actually downloading installer and then it is going to start the installer and download what you want from internet. You can choose either way. So let's go with this. Download 64 bit. It is showing the mirror and asking you, would you like to download from that? And if you have any reason to select a different mirror, you can. I go with this, click on download, and it is going to start the download process. It's pretty small. I'm going to put it in this folder. So all that I need to do is just install this. In fact, I already installed, so I don't need to install that, or rather, I don't need to download that. It's already downloaded. So let's skip this step. But you go ahead with that. You need to download this. And once it is downloaded, you can go there and run it. So in my system, this is where I have it. So I have Eclipse. This is the size of it. And this is 100 MB. Just go double click on that. It's going to start the installer and then go ahead and click on run let's minimize these things so here it is it's going to ask you what is that you want to install and i want to go with eclipse ide for java developer well you can select something else if you're planning to use it for servlets jsps and so on make sure you select enterprise java developer and these are the other options you have well, let's go with the first one. Click on this. And then it's asking you, what is the JDK that it should use? And what is the folder into which it should install that? Well, I can go to any folder. It's up to me. I go with that. I have no problem with this folder. This is what it is going to select by default. I go ahead with that. Install. And it's going to take a little time to install that because it has to download the required component from internet. So once the installation is done, we are ready to use it. Well, it's done. The installation is over and it's asking you to launch it. Let's go launch it. You can click on that. As I told you, that indicates the year and month in which this version of Eclipse was released. Well, in fact, they release versions very quickly. So you don't need to really download every new version as and when it comes. But when you're doing it for the first time, you always download the latest because we believe the latest is the greatest. Okay, the first thing is, what is the workspace? It's asking you where you want to store your development artifacts, like your projects. Where do you want to store them? So I'm just going to give something like, uh, so Java SE. This is where I'm going to store all my Java SE process. Okay, you can give any folder you like. Just click on launch and it's asking, do you want to use this always and without Eclipse asking you? Well, if you feel this is what you want to use again and again, then you can turn it on. For now, I leave it. I just launch it. This is going to start Eclipse. Well, depending on your system's uh, capacity, I mean, whether it has i3, 4GB RAM, or 
i7 16 gb or i9 32 gb it can take a while to start and this is your page so to start with you get welcome page this is the welcome page i can close this you install eclipse you are ready to go just click on create a project and here we are saying we want to create a java project now give the name, I say demo, and it is selecting the option. When it comes to JRE, it's saying use default JRE. Let's go with that. Then click on next, and then click on finish. And it's asking you whether you want to create module info. For now, we don't need a module info for this process, so don't create. Once the project is created, you can see that in Package Explorer. Just go to SRC, which is the folder where we place all our source code. Right click, new, a class. What you want to create is a class. Just select the class. And it's asking you, what is the name of the class? I want to call it as welcome. And then it suggests the package name like this. You can leave it or you can remove the package altogether. It's okay, either of them should do. And then select this option. And this is saying whether you want to have the main function in your class is because this is what I want to use to run the program, I need main, just select that. Click on finish. You're getting a program like this and it is in a package called demo. Well, don't worry if you don't know anything about packages. In fact, it's possible not to use package. I'll show you that after this. Now let's remove this and simply say system.out.println and then you can say hello Eclipse. And that's it, you're done. Just go ahead and run this. It's going to execute that, you get the result here. That's all, that's all you need to do because it's going to internally compile and run that. Now, if you want to create one more program, go to SRC again, right click, new class. And this time I don't want any package because package is not mandatory. And then just go and then give something like numbers and select again main, click on finish. And you're going to see something like a default package and this is where you can write some code. I say, I want to go and print numbers from one to 10. And this is how I'm doing it. I just need to print I, nothing else. Okay, we are done and just go and run this. You're going to see numbers one to 10. That's it, that's all you need to do. So it's pretty easy to use Eclipse. And this is one of the most successful and popular IDs for Java. So have great fun with that. All the very best.